the AL West. I think we're going to have some disagreements here. It, it definitely sounds like that on your behalf. On No. As you explained no. to us that it wouldn't be that, or it would be a very competitive division. I disagree with you heavily. Um, I think this will be a very one-sided division. Even though the Mariners may be very good, this Houston team seems historic. Yeah, no, I, no, I agree with that. I'm saying more of the fact, like, Seattle is going to finish again with 90-plus wins. I, in my opinion, and I think Houston's going to finish again with another 100 plus wins. So I think it's going to be they're going to win a lot, but like, does that make sense? Like, the there's going to be a point gap, like a win gap, but it's still going to be you know competitive baseball. If that makes any sense to you guys, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tougher to eat up on the lower teams, um, with the Rangers and Angels both adding the offseason more more so the Rangers than anything. Um, I think it's going to look a lot closer. I think it's, I mean, obviously the whole new playoff, the new regular season format, but I still think the, 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 the Astros will not reach the same win mark that they did last year. And I don't think the Mariners will even reach that same mark because I think the Rangers and angels will be stealing those wins away from those teams. Does that make sense? Yeah. I still think in my, in my opinion, I, obviously the Astros are winning the division. They're, they're going to win, um, whether it's by a lot or a little, I, I they're going to win the division. Um, and then the Mariners. I think us having those two makes sense. No one else is going to randomly come in, right? Uh, no, 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 no. Wait, but if how many wins do you think Seattle will get? If you don't, probably upper eighties. That, that that makes about that makes sense to me. I don't think I don't think they can crack ninety just because of how many competitive teams there are. I think I think the Rangers I, again. They play, again. Wins. You play your division less. Yeah. Um. It's gonna be it's gonna, it's tough to it's tough to guess those those predictions. I mean those those actual um record predictions. I think for the actual preseason predictions, I'll be going like in deep in depth analysis for their records. But right now, I think upper eighties for the Mariners and then low nineties for the Astros or like mid nineties for the Astros would make sense. Wow, so they f- fall back about ten wins. Yeah. I, I, it's not it's not the most shocking but, thing in the world, uh, is it? Go ahead, go ahead, Brad. Go ahead. So, I want to prompt this question: Over under one and a half teams that win a hundred games in twenty twenty three. One and a half, so two teams. I, I think yes. I think yes. Aiden and I think I yeah. One guaranteed in the Astros, in my opinion, I, over. Okay, but yeah, but at two, like if you said two and a half, I'd say under. You know. Like I, I, I am going to take the under on this. Okay. I'm going to go with one. The and Astros. it is the Houston Astros. I have this being a very similar division to what it was last year. Just give the Mariners more wins. I can see the Astros competing for that 111 mark that the Dodgers had last year. Like the rotation is just as good. I it, like you're gonna get more development from younger players. Obviously, losing Justin Verlander hurts, but you're going to be able to put in Hunter Brown, more youth. Hopefully, they stay on the field as much as Verlander did, if not more. You can rely on the bullpen, but I also think the Mariners take a huge step forward. I could see them as a 95-plus win team, but still, they won't reach the Astros in any sense. I believe in the Angels every single year, but that never happens. (laughs) I see them winning 75 games. Um, and I don't know what to make of the Rangers because they still, they signed Jacob deGrom, but I still don't think they have starting pitching because Jacob deGrom is not reliable. Yes, that is true. I, that, yeah. that, for that reason, yes. <laughs> yeah. but you also got Martin Perez. You also got Andrew Heaney out there. What? Okay. Also... Martin Perez had one good season. I mean, you, you see breakout seasons. It's, it's, it's not it's about 50 50 that like they retain that talent. Right. I mean, like they're not going to, you don't, you don't see these one and done seasons as much anymore. I don't, I don't think Martin Perez Wait, is going to disappear yeah. off the face of the planet. Yeah. Brad, do you have the right, do you have Texas above or below the angels? Come at on, the bro. same, at the same exact mark. Oh my god! You think, that you think, that you think they both get about 75 wins? Yeah, I could definitely see that. I'm looking at Martin Prez's projections for 2024 or 2023, and I agree with them. About 190 innings with a four ERA. I agree with that. What yeah, kind of, I mean, I mean, that's, I, but, that's that's just quality starting, though. I mean, that's like a four. That's a four pitcher right there. Yeah, but, but that's the number two. two. That's yeah. their two. Like, uh, no, I see what 
I don't know. I personally have Houston at 105, Seattle at about 95 to 97, Texas at about 78, 80. I, I think they'll make some jumps on the offense. Angels around same, about same as the Rangers, about 75, maybe touching 80. And then Oakland, worse. I mean, I think. Fifty five. That that I, range. I, I just wanna... which, which uh, real quick, Tom. Before you know, okay. it, it's Oakland's gonna suck. We all know this. A couple teams are gonna suck. You know, Oakland's one of them. They can't get a top six pick again, which is something something to throw out there. Which is gonna make the off season next year a lot more interesting. They can't get top six in the draft pick. Yeah, I. I, think I, I... The... Oakland Athletics have a chance to be worse than the 2018 Baltimore Orioles. Oh, a hundred percent. They have nothing going so. for them. Like is it, this is, is, it is a say? disrespectful <laughs> major league roster. Like it, it is, is very. It is. It's not a major league roster. That's a matter of the fact. Not. It is not a major league baseball roster. I mean, can, can we propose to stick them down in AAA? I mean, uh, might as well relegation. <laughs> I, I know I've seen high school teams better than these guys. They're, they're really bad. No, um, winner of the College World Series, they make it to MLB. <laughs> Oakland goes back to college. I would be down for that, honestly. Move the move the uh, ownership of Oakland I don't know, just, down just too. Have it have it be like the have it be like soccer. The winner of the AAA moves up, and the problem is that uh, yeah, you're kind of connected. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I just want to. I just want to add that the, the the Rangers, I think, like broke a record for the most most losses of just one run. Yeah. So they they're close. Their their record in twenty twenty two was sixty eight ninety four. That is horrible, considering that they went out in the off season and spent so much money. Have, you know. Have so Rangers or Angels, Tom? I got the Rangers above the Angels. Yeah, me too. Have Have they signed anybody on offense? The Rangers? Uh, they really don't need to. I, I, can't, I can't think. I mean, yeah, you need an outfield. Adolis Garcia? That's it. That's it? Yeah. They have these, <laughs> Leody Tervares looked good towards the end of the season. He was very good towards the end. I think I think he's going to be something good. No, he, he he's developing. And he's young, too. Okay, but then that's two. I think they need to go out and get some bullpen help, to be honest. I, I would have loved to see them get Mitch Hanniger, but... I think Mitch Hanniger would have been good for a lot of teams, but I'm not sure that's a, get, a bet you want to take. <laughs> hey, man, Mitch Hanniger ended up on a really uh, good team, so it's all good. No, he didn't. He ended up on the <laughs> okay. Giants. Okay. Let's all right. um, barely, barely a third-place team in the what, NL West. What is your AL West final predictions, bad? Like, just going down Ast- the line. Astros, Mariners, Angels, Rangers, Athletics. Okay, I'm, yeah, I'm Astros, Mariners, Rangers, Angels, Athletics. Yeah, I'm, I'm on and Team I, Aiden for this one. I think one and five, 50 to 60 win differential. That says more about the A's being really bad, but yeah. I mean, uh, no, because because if if I if I look at real quick, if I look at Houston, I, they, they get 105 wins, like I'm saying. I mean, that's 55 wins for Oakland. I mean, yeah, obviously yeah. that's really, really bad. But I mean, that also shows Houston's good. Like, real good. I mean, the Yankees could have won 98 games in 2018 and had a 50-game lead on the 48-win Orioles. Yeah, so 48 is what is that's the worst of all time? No, the worst of all time is the 2003 Tigers. I believe they went 43-119. and 119. Okay, so what we have the, uh, what about the early That's Mets? their the World Series. That's their World Series. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about the Mets. 